Hi guys, welcome back to Nail Art 101. So as you can tell, we're going to be talking about floral nails today. So there are so many different things you can do in the realm of floral nails. You know, every single type of flower you could think of we could cover in this video, but I'm just going to go over four. So we're going to go over little pinwheel roses. This is basically the most simple way to do a rose. We're going to do sunflowers, we're going to do five petal flowers. That really covers a lot of different flowers because there are a lot of flowers that you know, are really simple, just like five petals. So it's not a specific type of flower, but it's like a specific look. And then very finally on the index finger is a little bit more involved flower. A little more detailed so um, we're gonna go ahead and get into it I hope you enjoy as always I will link in the description bar if I had any specific inspiration on these nails or on these flowers I have one for all of them but that person I'm pretty sure probably didn't originate the idea for their design it probably came from somewhere because flowers are around everywhere and so we're all just kind of passing ideas around I hope that you enjoy I hope that you try out some floral nails let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna start by showing you the products that I use here's my palette of colors you pick any colors you want this is the kind of acrylic paint I used like I said pick any color here's my very small detailed brush so all of my nails have a white base I just use an OPI white um, so this first nail is the pinwheel roses and the easiest way to do this is just basically to put some blobs of color on your nail and then here I'm going in while the blobs are drying and drying some um, very simple leaves on the nail here and basically so you want to get your color down first and then you're going to add a small amount of detail with your brush in a slightly darker color than the base that you started with so you could even go like a darker almost red pink for this probably the darker the better for the details so I'm just adding some small C shapes kind of similar to when you do like a cheetah or leopard print so here I am going in with the C shapes again so what it's going to do is it gives you like an aerial view aerial let's see if I can say that view of the flower and it's in a very simple way but the C shapes kind of give an illusion of the curving petals of the flower so then you want to go in with a highlight color and the more kind of colors actually that you add to the flower the more dimension that you're going to give it because it's kind of like highlighting and contouring for your face you're giving it a little bit more dimension a little bit more detail the flower is coming to life a little bit more and that's what this highlighting is doing here so but Unlike some of the other flowers, we're just going to stop at the three colors for each flower there. So this is probably probably the most simple nail art that we're going to do. Here's some dark for the leaves, some dark green to give it some detail. You're just going to add a few little lines on the side of the um, like a middle line for the petal or for the leaf. What do you call that? I don't know. So anyway, this is that's done. I'm going to show you me top coating it later, but that's it for that. So it's super duper easy. Um, if you haven't really, you know, got your toes wet at all with floral nails, if it seems a little bit too daunting, try this. I literally love these kind of pinwheel roses and you will see them everywhere. Just Google floral nails and you'll see a ton of these pop up to give you inspiration. So let's move on to the next nail. We are going to be doing a sunflower. So my inspiration for this, oh, there was a ton of things. Um, Chalkboard Nails has a really gorgeous sunflower. Um, the whole Manny is sunflowers, like in all different positions. Um, I'm not necessarily going to be recreating that manicure, but I really like that one. Um, I'm just going to be creating one single one in the middle of my nail just to give you a kind of look at how to do it. So um, you're basically having the same idea here. You're starting out with putting a big blob of color on your nail, not too specific where you're putting things. You're just kind of plopping the color on. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the second color. So um, you remember how I said the more colors you add to this, the more detail it's going to give it because it's like layers of shading. Do you guys ever watch um, coloring book videos? I have one artist that I really like watching her. It's really soothing to watch while I am swatching. And when she does her blending of her different um, colored pencils, she takes so long to blend all these different colors and that's what really makes 
the work come to life. I mean, the same theory applies with with things, you know, with art that's not coloring books, obviously. Um, but anyway, that's that's the one that I've been watching lately. So here I'm going in with my third color. So you're adding a little bit um, d of depth into where you're going to put this nice big blob of rich chocolatey brown in the middle. And then I decided I needed some kind of orangey, yucky brown there to um, add to the flower. And then, so I'm going in with my highlight. So I'm going back around the edges of the petal, adding some nice, very white yellow it's not actually white so basically to get all these colors by the way I don't have every color of acrylic paint I'm just mixing colors so that's why I showed you my palette at the beginning you can put a color on there and then mix it with white or put a pink on there and mix it with red and it'll get darker you know that kind of thing um, and yes I am using acrylic paint it is so much easier to do detailed nail art with acrylic paint so um, adding a few little dots in the middle for the sunflower and then we're going to go in for one little kind of vine. Now um, I'm not sure if this is actually a correct vine for a sunflower. Of course they have like a big thick stalk right so I just thought that this looked kind of cute to fill up a little bit of space on the nail since I didn't really do the stem of the flower and that is pretty much it. If you like, okay, so you're looking really in close at my nail here, so you can see all the texture of all those different layers I put on there. You can see all my imperfections, but seriously, guys, from far away, you will not see that stuff, especially with a couple layers of top coat, one or two. You don't have to do two. You're really, all you're going to see is the dimension of the colors, and it's going to look really good. So I encourage you to try this out. Have some fun with it. Make sure you're getting a very small brush and go to town. Get some acrylic paint. It's really, it's really a lot easier than nail polish because it doesn't dry as fast and tacky. So I'm going in with um, some very light. We're going to do like pastel flowers here. So we're going for the five petal flower look. So like I said, this is a very generic idea here. I'm not really rec recreating anything particular, although one nail to rule them, rule them all, a blog that I have been following forever, I don't read as many blogs these days as I used to, but I used to follow her, um, you know, along with Chalkboard Nails and a bunch of other blogs, and she does a lot of five petal flowers and like really simple looking ones that I think you guys could really, um, you know, take a stab at and probably feel pretty successful with. So these are meant to not look real. Does that make sense? Like, we're not trying to make these look super realistic. So same idea here. I'm going in with a darker color than the base pink to add in the little dots inside the middle of the flower. And um, yeah, this is this one is really, really easy. This one may be even easier than the roses. So and from far away, they just look like cute little cute little five petal flowers on your nails. So you're basically adding these little dots in a circular pattern in the middle. You know, you don't need to be super precise with it. And none of these nail arts, I don't know if you've noticed, are super precise. The next one we're gonna do, the very last one, is I guess a little bit more precise, but you really don't have to be particular. Because if you look at a flower in nature, it is so just different from each flower next to it. And it doesn't have, every petal's not absolutely perfectly shaped. You know what I mean? So same thing goes with all the rest of them. Just give it a try. Just try it. It's like the song. Just try it. You'll like it. My kids listen to. Oh my goodness. I've got my kids songs on the brain. Okay. So this is the last one. We're going to do the same exact thing. Oh, look, I didn't clean off my brush good enough. <laughs> it had green on it. I'm covering it up. Anyway, we're going to do the same idea here by placing a lot of blobs of color in not very generic and not very yes generic not very specific shapes um, I'm doing one bigger flower see how the petals are much bigger more pronounced um, this one I was a little bit more specific than the orange there with choosing kind of like rectangular petal shapes and now I'm going back in with my orange and making them you know firming up those shapes so right at first all you're doing is basically putting some color on to your page, not your page, onto your nail, onto your little canvas. Um, and then you kind of firm up what shape you want, but still again, look at that. Obviously, I was not going for a perfect shape here. Now, pick a color that's way deeper, um, and we're just gonna kind of very loosely outline this 
uh, flower, but you guys, this is a very small space on your nail. If you want to do outlining on your nail, A, you need to have a very small brush, and B, you basically just want to like tickle the nail. If if outlining stuff is intimidating to you because you feel like you get way too much on your brush or on your, um, yes, on your brush, but also on your canvas. First off, water down your acrylic paint, which I'm not a good example of in this because I actually didn't water down this brown and it was a little bit too thick. A lot if you water down your paint, and that's the other reason why acrylic paint is so nice to paint with because it's so easy to get it thin. You just add a little bit of water. Super easy, okay? So see here, I'm going in and I'm just very loosely, I'm just tickling the surface of my nail, which is what's giving those small little kind of just not hairy looking things, but you know what I mean? Like it's not specific. It's not like too straight of a line and that's what you want, at least in this particular look. And of course I will link below, um, you know, the inspiration for this specific kind of um, flower, but there are a lot of things out there that are very close to this where I drew my inspiration from a bunch of different things, but I'm going to link the specific picture that I drew inspiration from or the specific um, post because I did um, use kind of the same color scheme. So anyway, here I am going into top coat everything. As always, please make sure your artwork is nice and dry. Um, I have found with acrylic paint it will tend to dry a little bit faster than nail polish in general so that's another nice thing because I will have less smearing issues but there you have it you are done so this was actually so much fun for me you guys I had forgot how much I love painting floral nails I love painting geometric nails um, you know like very geometric designs that's super fun for me and floral nails are so fun I was wishing that I didn't need to do swatch some more the next day after I filmed this because I just wanted to leave these on forever granted if I was going to um, you know really do a nail art I would pick one of these designs because they're all different styles so I would pick one I wouldn't probably do a skittle manny using all these exact designs that I did for you here for one thing they're not even this in the same color scheme on each nail anyway I'm just saying I just wanted to give you four different ideas so that you could try all four different designs if you wanted to you know and it brings it all into one video so that's gonna be it I hope you had some fun as always I like to remind you that I am not a professional nail artist I just do it for you so you can see what the experience is like for me and hopefully it inspires you to try it for yourself um, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm having so much fun with this series. You guys, I love nail art. It is my original passion that got me into nail polish in the first place. So I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for stopping by and spending some of it with me. I hope this made you excited to get back out your paints and start painting on your nails and having some fun. Please tag me on Instagram if you post it there. I would love to see your creations, anything floral. That's so exciting. Please share with me. I will see you back for the next video, guys. Take care. Love you. Bye. The thing that I love so much about Cloris de Carol, aside from how fun the different collections are, but when I go to apply them, they're so silky smooth. I love it. I know when I'm about to go put on a polish from this brand that it's going to just be so silky. So, um, speaking of which, let's